Jeff Bezos getting divorced and yeah. uh, Mackenzie Scott leaving his ass. <laughs> after 25 years of marriage, bro, that's kind of tough. Well, yeah, so, like, all you need to know is that basically after the divorce settlement, like, $3.8 billion was, you know, settled in 1999. And then Jeff Bezos got divorced for, three hundred three like, what, $35 billion. And at that point, from $157 billion that he was worth, he went down. What's the math? Six. Do it. 157 minus 35, do it. It's just your $64 billion, but that's not, that's not right. No, do it. One fifty-seven <laughs> minus thirty-five. You know, so you take out. You know. Oh no, my brother's walking in. Oh. <laughs> One twenty-two. Anyways, um, Jesus can't do basic arithmetic, so <laughs> I'm gonna take over. Um, okay, yeah. Last thing they said, if he didn't put his, it's like a ten B five dash one some plan where he gets rid of a bunch of shares per year. He and he didn't get divorced. He'd be worth two hundred and eighty-five point seven billion. But so he, he would be caking. Yeah, he'd be caking. But now yeah. he's poor. Only one fifty seven billion. <laughs> Itty bitty one fifty seven billion. Bro, love isn't real. If Elon <laughs> and Grimes get divorced, I mean, I'm deleting Tinder. Bill Gates. I don't want this shit anymore, man. I mean, Bill Gates just got divorced by the time we were like recording this shit. So, yeah, right now. Right now, Inside as screen. we speak, like ten seconds ago, my boy Bill Gates Live texted update. me. Bro, Bill Gates got divorced after 27 years. Jeff Bezos after 25. I don't know what the fucking last straw was. Like, what made her divorce him? Just like pancakes or some shit. Apparently, Bezos woke her up because he like making too much noise in the washroom, shaving his head. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, Bezos did that oven Dutch shit. You know the the Dutch oven shit. You know what that means. You know what the Dutch what? oven? You know what the Dutch oven is? It's like when oh, you're like laying in bed, and you like uh, fart, and then like you're in the covers and you're covered in like your blanket or whatever, and since you're farting, it like stays there, so it looks like a Dutch oven. So you <laughs> open up the blanket, <laughs> and then the fucking smell comes out. <laughs> we probably did that to Mackenzie. She's like, "Yeah, I'm getting divorced. I'm divorced this one." <laughs> Thirty-five million dollar fart. Yeah, bro. Thirty-five billion dollar fart. <laughs> My boy, he had to um, let one rip. And that was bro, it. he he has prime. He straight up could make like, you know, how they, they made a documentary on fucking Tottenham. They can make a documentary about anything at this point. Yeah. Just make like an Amazon original about what happened with the divorce. And he could just make it his way, like make it completely biased towards him. And then you could make the <laughs> money back. <laughs> you could start selling the documentary and then... <laughs> Lie about what happened and make the money back. Money moves, bro. Yo, Jeff Bezos bro. is listening to this. Hit us up. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm actually going into consulting now. <laughs> Anyways. um, I'm just kidding. I don't hate myself. But. um, <laughs> Anyways. So that screwed over um our boy Bezos. But Musk got screwed over by the devil's lettuce. Because. He decided to go on uh, every white man's favorite podcast, Joe Rogan, and uh, he smoked weed, and his stock dropped nine percent after that. And apparently, someone was saying, um, "What's her name?" Azalea Banks said he was high on LSD when he tweeted about making Tesla private, but that's unfounded. So you know, but like, bro, after he, <laughs> I was reading up like after we finished planning for this, right? Yeah. And apparently, after he. Um, like, went on the fucking podcast and everyone in the world saw him smoking. He sent out to, like, all the workers of Tesla that his decision was unwise. And um, yeah, no Tesla shit. is still a drug-free environment. <laughs> what? <laughs> and two, probably... two, like, um, two big boys quit. Yeah. Like, two high-level execs just left Tesla. Bruh. After he, fought, he took one hit. That's like the equivalent of saying is like, you know that video like I'm not fucking drunk, like man, <laughs> man took like a bunch of splits and then he's like yeah but Tesla's a drug free environment you know it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, not he fuck. shows up to work, I... <laughs> you see him in the fucking because he sleeps on the factory floor. I don't know if he still does that, but like he said he did. 
<laughs> you see him wake up on the factory floor, putting the, uh, they call it like Visline or whatever, yeah. like the eye drops in. <laughs> and he's like, boys, we're not doing that shit here. Guys. I don't want to hear, see, smell, touch, or taste any any weed, any narcotics, nothing. It's a drug-free <laughs> environment. It's very strict, all right? I'm going to just go smoke a fat blunt with Joe Rogan after this, okay? <laughs> you see him, like, packing a bowl in his office before he's saying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I right, just came up with the fucking best idea for Tesla, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Each Tesla comes customized with like instead of the what's this shit called? You know the thing you can lift in the middle, the console. Yeah. Instead of that, like you open it up, it f- <laughs> like a bong comes out.